So as you go along this journey, you can either constantly have endless failures, endless setbacks, endless things that you look at in the negative light, or you start building momentum and building momentum, continuing to go down this journey, this cycle of success, moment after moment, day after day, week after week, year after year. All right, let's go. If you are tired of not feeling fit, tired of not having the focus, tired of just not having the financial resources or the relationships that you deserve to have, this is your place to be. I'm Jason Yarusi. This is the Live 100 Podcast, the place you come to break your bad habits so you can build the momentum that will get you the life that you deserve to have. Just imagine a life of just awe-inspiring rise. Imagine a life where you could do what you want when you want, right? Think about it how that would look. Think about how that could shape your future. And I, I was, um, you know, hearing my friend uh, Chad talk um, about, you know, real estate and how you can just grow wealth through real estate through, um, you know, this uh, conveyor belt movement. And I thought about it just, you know, how uncanny that is because that, that really shapes the road to success. If you imagine yourself just on this conveyor belt, on your pathway to success, and you think about it, right? Like the, the opportunity for you to just go with the conveyor belt, like you can use this in many ways. The conveyor belt could lead you, you know, uh, down a trash chute, right? The conveyor belt could lead you to a part where it's bringing you uh, grace, bringing you goodness, bringing you prosperity, right? So you are on this roadway, right? Something that's pushing you forward because each day time expires and you're with time as it continues to go. And so if you're leading down a bad path with bad habits, bad resources, bad surroundings, just not putting your energy in, then you're on a conveyor belt to negativity. You're on a conveyor belt to a dead end, right? You're on a conveyor belt leading you to things that are not going to get you the life that you deserve. However, if you put in that positive momentum, you start feeding it in positivity, you start putting the energy in there, you can do many things, right? If you start surrounding yourself for, with great people, you start putting great knowledge into your head, you start getting the right energy, you start awakening to the possibilities to be able to get the surroundings to transform your life, right? You start speeding up the conveyor belt, right? You start really putting into the motion to allow you to start hitting stride to get to the goals you want that much faster. It puts you in a spot here that it allows you to continue pushing forward. Also, there's going to be resistance, right? There's going to be resistance as you go through this mode of life onto your journey. You're going to face obstacles. You're going to face challenges here. And if the conveyor belt you know, goes and it breaks down, right? How, how do you adapt to it? How do you, how do you put yourself in motion to get it back in line, to get it back in a position, right? To continue forward to your pathway to success. So many times in life, something breaks down within, you know, Anything. It could be just in our surroundings. It could be emotionally. It could be physically. It could be spiritually, right? And we allow it to throw us completely off track, right? We come basically, you know, the belt comes off um, the rollers and next thing you know, we spiral out of control. Maybe we, we go out into a drinking binge or we get into just a massive fight with uh, someone we love or we just really do something that we absolutely regret because of the obstacle that's come up in front of us. So when you think about your mentality, you think about your setups, think about your circumstances. Are you going to be resilient to the challenges and the obstacles that come a part of it? If not, what do we need to do to start speeding up the conveyor belt of success for you? What is it? What do we need to do to start filling your cup in positivity, to give you the actions, to give you the steps, to give you the intentional execution that starts giving you the masterful habits of the successful? Your life becomes an endless belt. And that's what really the conveyor belt is. It's endless. So as you go along this journey, you can either constantly have endless failures, endless setbacks, endless things that you look at in the negative light, or you start building momentum and building momentum, continuing to go down this journey, this cycle of success, moment after moment, day after day, week after week, year after year. I spent myself in the negative conveyor belt for my 20s, part of my 30s, right? I was going the wrong way. And I allowed it to just continue to just cycle, just like you do. The belt would just go, and the next day it would just repeat, and the next day it would just repeat. And guess where I was going in my life? The wrong way, because I constantly was basically getting hit by the reality of life that I wasn't doing what I wanted. But I, I was too fearful to take the action steps, right? I was too fearful to go out there and step outside my comfort zone so that belt of negativity just continued to loop, continued to loop, and continued to loop. And guess what? 
I got poor results. Until one day I went and instead of putting the belt in reverse, I stopped the momentum and started to put the belt of positivity on in reverse to start putting me in the direction of the results I wanted. Now it was slow burning, right? It was slow burning. If anybody's ever been on a bicycle and you start changing gears, right? I was on, I was on the lowest gear right now where you, you have this point with, I was pushing against so much resistance that it was taking me so much time to start getting that positive momentum. Well, you ask the question, why? Well, I built up such a big layer of negativity that I had to start installing so many positive habit, habits to overcome the negativity that was in my life. So if you just have a little bit of negativity in your life and a little bit of resistance right now, you can start breaking through the mold very quickly on your pathway to success. But if you are like me and you've put together years, months, days, weeks of just negative momentum, negative mindset, negative habits, negative relationships, you have to break the mold and it's going to take time, but it can be done. I stand here today to do the Live 100 podcast because I know it's within you to go out there, to accomplish your goals one day at a time, one week at a time. And if you can be persistent and disciplined to the results with constant action, you will live the life you want. But it takes you. It takes you to go there and to push forward to operate the bell. It's not just going to move in the right direction without you. So you have to be self-aware of where you stand today. If you're feeding your mind and feeding your body with all the wrong things, today's your wake-up call. Today's your moment in time. Today is your wake-up call to say, okay, I understand where I am. I understand where I stand today. And many times we have to hit our lowest point just to understand that that's our starting line. You think about you know, your days, your weeks, and you think about you know, where you are it's because of what we're doing each and every day. We can't expect different results tomorrow if we continue to do the same thing today. But if you look today at where you are, and if you feel like, man, I'm just like underground right now, I'm just so low. Well, so many things have to germinate below the earth, right? You have to have so many parts of, of life that have to fester, to have to manifest, to have to have the nutrients, to have to have the built before you see this exponential growth. That includes you, that includes me. So don't give up on yourself. Right now is your moment in time where you have the choice to make change, be it positive change, to impact your life in a way only others will dream of. But today is your day and time to call yourself out, to ask yourself, am I on the positive momentum wheel or am I feeding my life with negativity? And if it's the latter, it's time to stop. And it's time to take charge and take control and go out there to seek the life that you deserve. All right, this is the Live One Hundred Podcast. I am Jason Yarusi. If you found this valuable today, go down there and leave us an honest ratings review. And if this is something that could be helpful to someone else, please share this out with the network. Share this out. Give us a, a tag on Instagram. Put us out there into the universe so we can get in front of more people. This podcast continues to grow just at an exponential rate. I can't thank you enough for all of you out there that are going out there to live your 100. Let's do this.